happy. Hey, what's up squad? How we doing today? Brooks and I are super excited today and we're gonna start this video off with something different than what we're doing. First of all, guys, it's about the new year. 2020, we're taking this adventure today on New Year's Eve. So when you see this, I'm not sure, but to bring in the new year, all you guys out there, if you have an established um, YouTube channel, you have a brand new YouTube channel, feel free, please, down below in the comments, go ahead and leave your channel down there. I do this so that I can categorize our awesome adventures that we have so we can look back on them, but also to meet new people, make new friends, and you know, the way we do that is through growing our YouTube channels. Hey, I love finding out about new YouTube channels, so why don't you guys drop your channel below. You don't have to say anything if you don't want, just drop your channel, maybe we'll go check it out. But the more you write, let us know what your channel's about. Support those in our community, our fishing, our hunting, our outdoor community. Uh, you know, there's so many people that out, out there that don't want hunters and fishermen out there. Um, we have to stick together and support ourselves. Don't look down on people because they have more subscribers than you or less subscribers than you. Don't be jealous of them because they're up there and huge. That's awesome, that's awesome for all of us. So guys, down below, drop your comment, drop your channel, and we love all you guys for checking out our video and all the support as we grow as well. All right guys, so we are on our way to Frederick, Maryland, and we're in the car. Brooks is in the back playing his last little bit of video games as we drive to Frederick. That's about an hour and 15 minute drive, hour and a half drive for us from Northern Virginia. So um, again, we have been invited by John Peak, um, who I met through Instagram. Honestly, guys, this is another Instagram fam member um, who follows us on Instagram. We follow him on Instagram and an opportunity has come up for us to go and gig for snakeheads. And I was like, I gotta get up there and do that because I have not been able to kill snakeheads from the boat. So we're gonna try something new tonight with some night gigging. In the end, we're gonna have a blast. Brooks and I are gonna hopefully get our first snakeheads we went to Cabela's last night and had to get some new waders. We didn't. We don't own waders, so we had to go buy some waders just for this trip. Thank God I had some gift cards and some cash from Cabela's. Thank you, Cabela's. So that's what we're doing, and we're, we're excited to be meeting John for the first time and, again, adding someone to our circle of friends, and that's what this is all about. As I told you guys below, leave your channels below. We'd love to meet you, chat with you, come down, do collabs. If you're a local particularly, just let us know. I'd love to come do a collab with you. Uh, we can get on my boat, we can go bank fishing, we can go pond fishing, we can do snakeheads, we can do whatever. I'll get in the car and go. So, so during the winter, warmer months, this is where we usually bring our boat anyways, right down in here. This is Potomac River. That's where we'll be boating come warmer weather. Even on New Year's Eve at four o'clock in the afternoon, our nation's capital, check out the traffic. Both ways, y'all, both ways. This is the way it is all the time, every day, all day. All right, getting excited, almost there. We're like 12 minutes out. We'll check back with you when we get there. We'll say hi to Mr. John. Hey, nice to meet you, buddy. What's your name? Brooks, nice to meet you, bro. You so go. we're lucky enough that John invited us out tonight on New Year's mm -hmm. Eve. Yep. And he went out this morning and shot birds. You got to go over to his Instagram and check out these birds he shot. Oh yeah. First Sir, banded. So that's the first out of thousands of ducks I ever shot. That was the first banded one I've ever shot. Yeah. You know, it was a, uh, it's like a ten-year-old duck. That, and that he posted, <laughs> he posted like the U, the G, USGS it, G, um, yeah, yeah. survey on the duck or the band. Yeah, exactly. Surf, yeah. Right? So when you call it in, and they'll give you like a, a life description of it. You know, yeah. like where they banded it, when they banded it, how old the bird was. Yeah. And yeah, it's pretty wild. It, it, was, it was pretty cool because I was reading. It, it's like this is an old bird. That's yeah. basically what it said. Yeah. Like over like ten years old. Yeah. Or and something. It's like, yeah, they're having trouble finding the data on it, so they got to actually go in manually and. Look it up. That's so cool. <laughs> One day we'll get out duck hunting. Now that we have these waders, we're going to use them for more than just hunting snakes. Exactly. So Brooks is ready to go. He has three pair of socks on. <laughs> and um, I assume we won't need any more than this in our waders, no, right? Yeah, it's going to be no, pretty warm. Yeah, yeah. We're lucky. It's 50 degrees out still right now at yeah. 5 o'clock at night. Exactly. So exactly. we're going to get after it. And uh, yep. you want to give a little, it, a little 
background or we just want to get after it? I say we just get after it. Let's do it. That's the best way to do it, man. Yep. So again, here in Frederick yep. with John Peak. Go check him out on Instagram. I'll put the link right down here. But guys, we're in for a little, uh, we're a treat tonight. Yep. Yep. We'll see if we can get them. Awesome, dude. Well, we appreciate it, brother. Hey, not a problem. Let's get going, man. Let's do it. All right. Public land, kids. Public land. Anybody can go in here, but do you know how to find the secret spots? <laughs> that is the question. B, with your first time wearing waders, what do you think, buddy? Good waders. Good waders? <laughs> All right, so we're walking in, and um, my light, unlike Gabe's supposedly, doesn't blind you. Mine blinds me. <laughs> um, we're walking into this pond here. Never gig snakeheads before. We've never gigged anything before. Super excited that we've been given this opportunity. And man, hopefully we hopefully there's some snakes running around. John seems pretty confident. Confidence is high on John's side. Uh, Alright, so we're trudging through the out back of Calvert County, Maryland. Trying to find the elusive snakehead pond. <laughs> Just like your pet snake. So, <laughs> you know, y'all have that pet. Yeah. But what is it? Ball python. Ball python. They have. <coughs> they have the same exact markings on them, and um, they'll kind of glow under the water. But you don't want to shine them in the eyes because they get spooked fast. Okay. What is, so, what's the difference from bass and snake and Well, the bass are going to be. Um, the bass don't have the same color pattern. And you'll see them, the bass are a lot bigger, where these are gonna look more elongated and like round. Like, like a snake, bro. Yeah, just like a snake. So see all this grass right here? Yeah. That's, the middle is like covered in it, and that's what they're hiding in. It's sitting at. Because it holds heat. So when you come up on these bushes, you know, what I usually do is just like kind of slide my feet across the bottom. And then you want to look up in here really good. Because they will be in here and you won't even know it. <laughs> Head of one, and it looks like another one bit it clean off. <laughs> that's a good size head, right there, as big as your hand. Yeah, that's about a 30 incher, probably. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Look at that right there. Man, y'all are gonna have some fresh snake head for New Year's. Hey, we don't care who catches it, it doesn't matter. It's a family effort, brother. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Freaking awesome, bro. <laughs> He's like, there's one right there. See how hard they are to see in this stuff? I mean, they blend in like beautifully. That's awesome. Yeah, they're cool and they are good eating. So this little 18 incher? Yeah. Yep. That is awesome. Exactly. Not going home empty handed. No, sir. And see how I stuck him right behind see the head. See that bee? See where his gills are? Yeah. You stick him right behind the head like that. Yeah. And that's usually the money shot because their head is <laughs> doink, doink. hard. 
Awesome. Take him over here and put him on a stringer. All right, cool. We'll go. Wait, wait. Sure, you sit. Hold on. Okay. You got to go straight down. Hard. I think he got up from underneath you. That's all right. Good try. back up in here, man. I was like, that's all right, swing and a miss. All right, fellas, we are done for the night. It was awesome coming out of here, meeting John personally, instead of just online, right? We were talking about on the way here. Exactly. You meet so many people on Instagram. Yeah. Or yeah. YouTube, and you never get a chance to meet them. Well, that's the thing, you know, and that's what it's about, is getting people out and doing things and meeting new friends. You yeah. Know? I mean, that's what it's all about. And, and this man took off part of his New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> to come here and hang out with us and you know we honestly deep down man we appreciate yeah, it no hey man anytime that's what it's about you know when you said you wanted to bring your son here and let him try and get on I, you know that's, that's i'm all about getting kids yeah, <laughs> show, show, show them what john get, got for us check that out guys we have some snakehead we're going to get a chance to take home and uh fry up uh how you, you fry them up you can cook them however they, yeah. i mean there's not a bad way it's a really right. mild fish yeah a really mild white meat fish yeah you know, and um, no blood line at all. Right. You know, they do have pin bones, but everything. Yeah, every yeah. <laughs> well, we totally appreciate it. And, you know, yeah. there's nothing, I mean, uh, we, we feel bad for all you guys that take us out and do these things or invite us out because it's hard for us to reciprocate. Yeah. But, no, hey, it's, you know, <laughs> you guys are so close that so we can get together and do whatever at any time. <laughs> well, well we, we totally appreciate hey, it. No, no worries. worries. No worries. Happy New Year to you and your family. You Happy yeah. New Year to you too, buddy. What do you say, B? Over here, what do you say? <laughs> a little high five, little fist pump, something. High five. There you go. <laughs> Say thanks for the meat, huh? Hey, yeah. Your first snakehead. It's not, not yours, mine. but hey, it's still it's our, the first in our it's belly. It's ours, yeah. It's all of ours. It's, it's a team effort. It's a family thing, man. It's all good. Exactly. So thanks again, man. We hey, really appreciate no worries. it. Not a problem at all, anytime. And like I said, we're hoping we'll come back. We're going to keep him busy. When he does stuff, he's going to be like, they're coming again. <laughs> nope. That is not a problem at all. <laughs> no, not those guys. I not the Ronay boys. <laughs> I enjoy it. All right, guys. So we have our snakehead that we got last night. We're going to do the clean and cook portion of this bad boy. We're using our Dexter 9-inch fillet knife. And I've never filleted a snakehead before. So if I butcher it, I butcher it. But they are super slimy fish, like gar or eel. So... Um, we washed them off and I'm going to use a rag to hold them while I cut it. Suppose you just flay this thing nice and long down like you almost would a mackerel or any other fish just down the backbone. One side I'll go straight down the rib, maybe the first one and the second one I'm going to fillet like I normally would so we get both sides and I get an idea. Alright? So guys, also a fun fact is that we have our ball python right here. They have the same exact type of skin as our snakehead. And his name is Mac. He is a foot, fo about four foot snake. He's trying to go somewhere. I don't know where. I just got him on my neck right now. Dash Go right down that backbone, just like I would a normal fish. So I went right through the ribs there. There it is. Filet goes right through the ribs, has the innards then, right? So if we go to the other side, I'm gonna fillet it like I would a regular fish. So slimy. And they don't really have a pectoral fin. There's no bone in their fin or fins like you would a normal fish. And then we'll go down the back then. And then we're gonna come in here just like we normally would. But you guys. Look at the scales on that guy. So cool. Just like this guy. Got scales. Hit the ribs. We got to follow the ribs up. It's trying to get on the camera. I don't know why. It wants to be on the camera, I guess. I got no on it. Well, that's going to be just like a fish. Okay. Once you hit that skin on the other side, you know you're you're through there, right past the bones. Otherwise, just keep following it up. Now 
of that filet. Is done as well. But not much meat left on that bad boy. You can see through them. I'm, I'm trying to guess. Little pouch right they, there. They use those for crabbing? Crabbing, yeah. Yeah. We're making little nuggets, so I left that off. So when I did that side, you can see I didn't get that little piece. But you can always go back and get it. This side came right off when I did the ribs. So if I was going to do it again, I'd probably just go right down that backbone. You don't have to worry about leaving any meat on the snakehead. That's all rock. Listen to their head, dudes. Listen. You can't gig them in the head, and that's why it's hard to catch these fish. You gig them right behind the head. Right <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we're here at the boys' mom's house, and we are cooking. We already did. You already saw us cutting this fish up because we don't bring whole fish into mama's house and mess up the house. So I just we cubed it up. We made it in bite-sized chunks, and we put it in a Ziploc bag. So from the Ziploc bag, we got our seasonings, and Brooks is going to tell you about the seasonings. Here we go. So guys, we're making our uh, snakehead, and we have our we have fish fry. Fish fry. We have a bit of salt, uh, a medium amount of pepper, and we have Old Bay. A medium amount of pepper. You want to try some, please. And that's it, right? Salt. So we're going very simple for the snakehead because we want to taste this fish, right? So we're going to shake it up in there, get a good batter, get a good coating on it. We're going to just pan fry it in butter. That's all we're going to do. We got the fish in the Ziploc bag. We've been we've been coating. Now we got to put oil in there first. So we're going to put we're going to put some peanut oil in here. We've already had it we've had it sitting in the uh, mix. Mommy doesn't have any peanut oil. I already have it right here, but Mommy, where'd you put the peanut oil? Mama! Excuse me. Mama just stole the peanut oil out from underneath me. <laughs> rub. Is it a rub? It's not a rub. What is it? In our battery. It's not really a batter either. Whatever what is, it is. What is it? When you put... Yeah, it's just a dredge. In our dredge? Yeah. Whatever. In our seasonings. It's been sitting in the baggie in our seasonings and we're going to put it in the saucepan. <laughs> Nothing's easy around here. I swear, guys. Turn around a second, your oil's there, you turn back, it's gone. Go ahead. So guys, we're gonna pour a peanut oil in here. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna put the peanut oil in here. That's good. All we want is enough to brown now that we're fish. We're gonna take our fish. No, you gotta wait for it to make sure it's... All right, so B's gonna gently set that in there. Nice. We're gonna fry these until they're golden brown on one side for about four to five minutes. Then we're gonna flip it for another two to three. Great job, dude. What do you think they're gonna taste like? <laughs> well, they are snakehead, I hope so. Oh, this looks so good. Blue, what do you think? Does it look good? Does it look good? You know when the tail's wagging, he knows So we also told you we're doing New Year's, it's New Year's Day. We're doing Surf and Turf tonight. So we've got our deer we shot. We're doing fondue with the deer venison uh, steak tips that we cut up. We've got venison backstrap stuffed with uh, garlic cream, cream cheese, and jalapeno peppers. Was Jen's making, the boy's mom Jen is making mushrooms, little salad toppings. I count on her for all the vegetables. The boys and I really count on mama for vegetables. So we've got a feast going on here, guys. We've got a feast. This is the beautiful thing about catching your own food. Everything almost in here tonight worked. We, we caught or we harvested. It's so exciting we share this with family and everybody else. So Brooks is working on the chicken portion of the meal tonight, the catch and cook. This was a purchase and cook portion because this is chicken that the boy's mom brought. But you know what? Get your kids cutting some meat up. Teach them how to use a knife, use a fork. There is a trick to it, right? It's not as easy as everybody thinks. Great job, dude. 
Let the knife do the work. That's what it's all about. I love that I see my sons getting better and better and better at this stuff as they do it. He also cut the meat venison up tonight, so that's what's awesome. You know one of the hardest parts of teaching your kids how to cook and do all these things is not stepping in and interrupting and letting them do their thing. You tell them how to do it, let them do it. Obviously when they get old enough, but it's hard because I want to grab like the tongs and just turn them over and do all stuff. You gotta let them do it. You gotta let them do it. This is real, guys. This is, we're a family just like everybody else. We're people just like you. I'm a dad just like you guys. These are my kids just like your kids. Teach them the best you can, and we have fun with it, right? Well, do we eat it yet or no? Come over here. You want a little piece? Hold that piece. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's hot, 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 hot. You got teeny pieces because it's so hot. I ate my whole club. You did? Is it tell what you wait, tell what you think. Oh you're still he's still chewing. Yummy! Yummy! That's so good. Well, uh, you know what? It's amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. All right, so Uncle Mike, Papa Mike, what do you think of Snakehead? Pretty tender. Pretty, I mean, this dude ain't gonna eat this to you wrong. No, it's good. He'll tell you if it's terrible. All right, we gotta get Mama, we gotta get Mama Bear a piece. Boo, boo. <laughs> Out of all the fish we've had, Hold on, Chase. Out of all the fish we've had, not my favorite. Not your favorite? Mm -mm. Okay, so Boo doesn't like it, but no, I hate it. No, love it. Mama Mom Bear's got to try. Mama, here's your piece. It, it doesn't take long. This is a family affair with our kitchen cooks now. This is how we do it. And you don't have to say it's good. Winner was like, eh, not my favorite. Is this one deadly? You like it? It's a, it's a thicker meat, right? Yeah, you eat it. It's good though, tell me. Chase, you trying the uh, snakehead? Now remember, Chase doesn't like anything. Yummy. You like it? What does it taste like? Give me, a, give me, what is the word? Tell me what it tastes like. What? It tastes like glazed donut. Look right here. <laughs> so there you have it. We got a couple reviews. Winter does not like it compared to saltwater fish, which I honestly I like it. I'm like, whoa. Which one's cooler? This one right here? It's a thicker fish. It's not spongy. It still peels apart part. I, I, I really love it. I gotta tell you. I can tell you right now, it'll take on the flavor of whatever you put on it. We had a very simple rub or dredge or whatever you want to call tonight. So you'd think that people would be loving this food as much as we do, but what? Exactly. No one can love it as much as we do. This is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. We are housing the rest of the chicken. The venison is all gone. The snakehead is all gone. Boo did not like the snakehead. I hate it. Boo. I hate it. Don't it's lie. Okay. Don't lie. It's okay. I'll eat it. It tickled her fancy. She loved it. Did you like the snakehead? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we're dealing with a little fondue. What's left? We're de Brooks and I are demolishing the rest of Mama's chicken. So the boy's mom made some good chicken tonight. Props mom, right? So him and I are the only ones sitting here at the table, except for Boo, who always sits with me. <laughs>
And yeah, we're gonna crush the rest of this chick. Dude, you ate all that chicken? He just ate all my chicken. I can't be talking to you guys because he eats all my food. Like, how am I supposed to grow and get big and strong if my son is eating all my food? <laughs>